I personally think sending out demos to labels is just a huge waste of time. I personally never, never, ever, ever, ever have released a song on another label through sending out as a demo to them. Hello and welcome. Today is the first day I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm like over the worst part. That's good, great news cold is disappearing hopefully in the next two three days and I'm here today to work on a song Lost and Alone that song is maybe 90% finished I just need to change some in the intro and maybe a little more mixing a little more loudness make it round and fat and also later today start sending it out to the first people in the industry label owners other artists, friends of mine that are into music, just to get some feedback and see if maybe someone is interested in releasing it or maybe just release it on my new label. I don't know, that's something I'll decide later. Also, please don't forget, there's a new sample pack out since yesterday, just 10 bucks for the first 200 that actually buy it if you're interested to get all of the samples that I use to make my music. And also the samples of that song are in there just go check out the first link in the description and let me maybe give you like a, a quick demo because actually less than alone i bounced all of the stems out all of the midi out implemented it into the live setup and i'm able to recreate the song to 95 percent with the live setup and jam on top and use another arp another pad it's really cool let me let me show you Hope you like this little show. It's still not perfect. I still sometimes mess up. It's now just training, training. I kind of build an instrument. Now I need to learn how to play it properly, but it's already sounding really fat. I achieved my goal getting it as close as possible to a studio situation. Like almost all of the sounds are generated. So it's really live. I can play drums in the bass kind of open close. I got like a polyphonic synth. I can play chords. I can play arps. All of this happening plus some effects plus a lot of channels in and out uh, 16 hi-hat with like decay it's it's just fun pure fun then it's all synced or it's actually generating the visuals that's the part where I'm still the least satisfied because I put the least amount of time into it first getting the musical side all done when it works 100% then the visuals because they're linked again to the music and yeah that's lost and alone. Now I just need to find someone that is interested in releasing that song. And that's usually like the, the hardest, toughest challenge. So yeah, the challenging part of trying to find a label for your songs. It's tough. Let me tell you, it's tough. It's tougher than ever, ever before. I know like 10 years ago when I just started, there was like, you just sent it out to a label, an email, and they usually replied and were like, yeah, thanks, that's really cool, but not for us. Or, hey, we like it, maybe change this and that, and we'll, we'll consider it as a release. There was communication, pretty easy, straightforward. Nowadays, the market is so saturated. There are so many people making music as a hobby. Back in the days, it was more like professional people and the hobby people didn't send it out to labels. Like this entire sitting at home, home studio, making a super hit and releasing it on the biggest label ever, that kind of mindset didn't exist. So there is a lot more competition, a lot, a lot more competition. It's, it's insane the amount of competition. And making music is at, as easy as it was never ever before. You can just download some splice kind of loops, put a kick underneath, some samples in there, maybe some stolen samples, splice vocals on top, 
and he got like a decent song and then people sent it off to labels. Uh, I don't want to complain at all. I love that it's more accessible and that more people are able to make music. But then again, people are missing on judging their own work. They're not critical enough. They make something and they think it's the biggest hit and then they send it out. And this leads just to one thing, all labels, every single label I, I know, they don't like, they don't really listen to the demos. They have usually an intern that one listens to all of the songs that are submitted. And if it's not top, 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 top notch and 100% a fit to the label, it won't be even considered. And even if it is, you're still competing against everyone else that is already part of that label. Let's, let's take Armada as an example. Huge label, a lot of different styles, a ton of releases every Friday, four or five, maybe even 10. They need to take care of their core artists. Let's say they have one artist that does trance and he releases five, six, maybe 10 songs a year with them. They have to have the slot available for him. So if someone else sends a song that is equally good, it won't, it won't be enough because then again they prefer working with a person they already help building up, a person that might already have gigs, a person with a fan base, with a following. So a lot harder it is to enter for new artists. I personally think sending out demos to labels is just a huge waste of time. I personally never, never, ever, ever, ever have released a song on another label through sending out as a demo to them. It was always, always, always through a contact. Back in the days, my first bigger release on a bigger label was Get Physical, which is like a really good established electronic underground music Berlin label owned by Mandy, DJT and Booker Shade. A friend of mine knew the, the, the owner of the entire company. They had like a company above it that did like all of the financing and stuff. And he just sent it to him. And he was like, yeah, that sounds cool. Let's release it. Let's give him a chance. So my song, or I think two, yeah, two songs were released on Kinnish, which is like the sub label. Then I, I went there and talked to the CEO and the a and It was kind of handy that I was living in Berlin during that time. Got to know them personally, talked to them, had some drinks, gin tonics, some club nights here and there. And eventually got a remix opportunity for, uh, was it Tiger Skin or Tiger Stripes? I always mix those two up, but like a bigger established underground kind of artist. And from there, I got a lot of like people that just wanted me to ghost produce. Five years later, this vlog started with me stopping ghost producing again. But also like the releases on Lost Frequencies label, I reached out to a friend where I know that he knows people. I sent him the song and he was like, yeah, that might be actually something for Lost Frequencies label. And he knows the label manager. He sent her the songs and this way I, I got the release. So the, the demo sending to like the public email thing, no, just, just don't do it. It reduces your chances by a lot. Even if your song is good enough to actually be on that label, once you send it out this way, no way. It's, it's way less likely. You need to know someone 100% more than ever before. And I know a lot of people will be now like, yeah, but I live somewhere where I can't go to clubs. You should go to clubs. If you live somewhere where clubs are at and people are DJing there, go there. Talk to the people. Be friendly. Be open. Don't be shy. Just, just talk to them. Like, say me, ADE. I talk to a ton of people that I don't know. Just like someone standing there, talking to them, and then eventually finding out they're doing something really important. Or even if they're not doing something important, at least someone more that knows about you. If you live in an area where it's really just not possible, then they're still online. I mean, you could, I don't know, let's say you want to release on Armada. Just check out some of their artists. I'm 100% sure there are artists on Armada releasing that are really small artists that have maybe just 5,000, maybe 10,000 followers on Instagram. You can DM them. Send them something nice and friendly. Don't be like, cause I get a ton of messages like, hey, can you listen to my song? Like that's, that's not going to cut it. Like write something short, effective and nice and don't drop in your song immediately. And also don't be like, hey, and wait for the other person to respond. It's just like common sense. Like if someone writes me, hey, John, uh, I got a really cool track. It might be something for your label. Do you have the time to listen to it? It would be super cool. And then maybe some references if you already released on other labels and maybe for how long you're producing and what kind of style. And if the style of the song fits, 
and the quality fits, then the chance of getting it released is actually quite high because labels depend on the music. They depend on artists making great stuff. There is no label without good music. Also my label that is starting at the very beginning of next year, we can't release stuff if we don't get stuff. So if you're interested to submit something, we actually listen to every single demo, but please just stuff that also fits. Uh, link down below in the description, so you should just go check it out and yeah, good luck sending your stuff to labels. I'll stick now to writing emails to the people that I know and hopefully find a good suitable label for that song. I, I, I just wish someone will pick it up, help me to push it, promote it and share it with as many people as possible. Thanks so much for watching, tomorrow back here in the studio.